have my swatch and review video for Jordana lipsticks. Um, Jordana is a drugstore brand from America. I used to get these from uh, Cherry Culture, but they have recently started clearancing out and um, phasing out the brand entirely, so they're no longer going to be carrying it, which is kind of sad. But the other website I know you can get them from is beautyjoint.com, so I will leave the link to them in the info box. Jordana is really, really quite cheap. Um, these lipsticks are usually retail between $1 and $2, which is the equivalent of around 75p to a pound. So it's, it's, it's a bargainous price. It's almost too good to pass up, which is why I have 12. Um, I have a mixture of finishes. They come in the matte formula. I don't know if that's gonna focus, but they come in a matte formula and then they also just come in these silver tubes that just say Jordana and these are supposed to be more of like a creamier, frostier finish, but um, as you'll see in these swatches, the just because it's matte doesn't mean it's matte. Okay, so I'll start with the silver tube lipsticks. I will do a little swatch, talk about a lipstick, and then I'll insert a picture of me with a lip swatch in between, in between each lipstick. I really love the smell of these. Um, they're kind of like a watermelony kind of smell. It kind of reminds me of um, lip smackers. So this one here is raspberry, and it's just this really beautiful pink color that kind of matches my nails. Um, it's kind of got a purple undertone to it. This is quite a sheer lipstick, but it is a bit buildable. Next we have Mauve, which is quite a dark lipstick. It looks quite brown. Um, this one is quite matte and as you can see it is quite brown. It's kind of more of a fig colour than a mauve. It's quite really dark. So now we're on to the matte finish lipsticks. Um, the one I'm going to start with is one called Raphael. And, um, as you can see, this is not matte. This is a frost finish lipstick. Um, it's quite a nice kind of coral shade to it. Be perfect for the summer. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Max Costa Chic. Next we have Nude, which is a really nice kind of creamy beige colour. I really like this one. It is definitely a more brown nude. may not be to everybody's taste but I like a good brown nude. Less likely to wash you out. Next I have another brown lipstick. This one is called Matte Fifth Avenue. Yeah, Matte Fifth Avenue. So I believe in the other lipstick formula they also have a lip, uh, Fifth Avenue. And um, I'll show you this one. As you can see it is very, very brown. Um, but it is still quite wearable. Um, it's kind of like a chocolatey toffee kind of colour. It's very, very... 90s and if you have um like a darker skin tone more like ebony or such like this would be a really nice kind of nude color i suppose but generally speaking on a paler girls this is very very 90s grunge and i love it next i have a lipstick called mystery and this is a very nice kind of rosy colour. Again, it still has a little touch of brown to it. 
and it's kind of a bit like a burnt rose color. It is a bit of an odd shade and when I purchased this, the swatch that the website had was a bit misleading but overall I like the color. Next I have my most favourite of the Giordana lipsticks, this is Lavender Lady. You guys have heard me talk about this one a ton, a ton, a ton. And this is kind of a, um, it's a very blue toned pink with lavender shot through it, a bit of mauve and it is very matte but it's still quite creamy. None of these lipsticks really are particularly drying, but if you do put them on over dry lips, they will show up all the flakes of skin. So moisturize first. Next I have Red, which is a straight up bright, bright blue toned red. It is beautiful. Showing up a bit more orangey on camera, but it is definitely more of a slightly more neutral blue tone red, but it's still blue. I love it. Next we have Rouge, which is another red. It's slightly more of a pinkier blue tone, definitely richer than red, and slightly more pigmented as well. Next we have Scarlet, which is an even darker red, we're definitely going for the ombre here. And again, it's still quite blue toned, but it's more of a neutral pink, pink based red. It's very, very pretty. This one is a little bit glossier. And lastly, we have Cabaret, which is also a silver tube. I really should have done this one earlier, but I kind of didn't notice so yeah apologies and it is a really nice kind of berry color it's gorgeous 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 um it kind of has that sort of mac rebel kind of look to it you could use it surely or you could darken it up this one is that's what it looks like darkened up but again, this is quite 90s, kind of vampy, gothy, and you know, totally, totally one of my kind of colours. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch and review video. There will be another one really, really soon. I think next week I'm doing the Milani baked blushes because I have quite a lot of them. So um, I figured I'd share and um, I kind of wish I could have got my hands on those new matte ones, but cherry culture didn't have them. So, yeah. so thank you guys so much for watching and um, remember to check the info box for links to Beauty Joint, Cherry Culture and to all my social media platforms and um, of course on the blog there will be more pictures and swatches and everything and hopefully that blog post will be up before this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!